there's nothing I can tell anyone for their first trip down a bobsled track. It was honestly like I was stuffed in a metal trash can and just thrown off a mountain. Like it's just a lot of noise. It's you're getting banged up inside the sled. So there's no adjustment anyone can prepare me for, but you just you learn to appreciate cer certain elements of it and man, I'll be able to definitely tell my kids one day I am a tough chick. <laughs> Hurdling isn't easy either at high speed. Which do you prefer of the two? Ooh, so hurdling, I have more control because, you know, it's individual sport and I have to do a lot within that race, a lot of adjustments. But bobsled, I'm actually, I just have to be <laughs> the most powerful, fastest athlete at the top. And then once I'm in the bobsled, because I'm the brakeman, I do nothing. So a lot of people ask me what I do in the bobsled and I'm like, pray, read a book. I mean, I'm doing nothing until the finish line and then I, pu I pull the brakes. You are incredibly positive, despite the fact that you have had some disappointments in your career. How have you managed to stay so upbeat at all times? I know that failures and losing, it, it is a major setback and it, and it hurts you. Like there's so many times where I'm like, man, I just might just be done. I quit. But then I take a day or two and I can take away something from that. I always learn and then I use that to eventually win. My first time I ever tried to make an Olympic team, I failed miserably. I wasn't even in the final. And then now I sit here as a three-time Olympian and one of the few athletes to go to a summer and winter Olympics. I don't sit here as an Olympic medalist. And I think a lot of times when they talk to Olympians and Olympic medalists, it's like, I worked hard and here I am, Olympic medalist, three-time gold champion and I don't have that story. My story is I have gone to Olympics, I failed horribly in front of the public eye, but each time I learned or got better and achieved greatness in my level. I know you're involved in the Girls on the Run project. What is your sort of perspective of female athletes in sport and how well you're respected and how successful you can be? Well, that's a, that's a really loaded question. I think for female athletes in sports, it's evolving because for so many years, we didn't have actually the chance to compete. And there's still areas where we're trying to break through. Even in the bobsled, people every day ask me, oh, are you on the four-man bobsled team? Well, right now, women were in the Olympics, we're only allowed to compete in two-man. And we're trying to get the four-man bobsled crew into the Olympics. So women, female athletes are still trying to progress as we go into the sport. I am involved in the girls on the run program. It's near and dear to my heart. Um, it's a, a great campaign ask, asking people to go an extra mile and shoes will be donated to girls to help them in their athletic endeavors. And it's really easy to just download the RunKeeper app, go an extra mile, and it helps out a great cause. For me, it's personal because my first pair of running shoes were donated and look at what that pair of shoes has done and changed my life. So I just really want other people to kind of get in and the season of like charity and helping other people out and I think it's a great campaign.